Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Why are you doing that? I'm singing from Fiddler on the Roof. No, I know what you are doing, but why? Bette Midler made her Broadway debut as Zeitel in Fiddler back in the 1960s. Oh, that's right. I love Fiddler on the Roof. And this year, she is returning to the boards with the one-woman play, I'll Eat You Last, a chat with Sue Mengers. I think she really likes New York. Why do you say that? Well, first, that was where she was discovered. And she also produced Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, on Broadway. And she also founded the New York Restoration Project back in 1995. That's awesome! Haven't you ever seen the, that episode of The Simpsons with her on it? It's like some good man. Of course! Did you see her as the final guest on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson? Did you know that in 1992 she won an Emmy for that appearance? Wait, she won an Emmy just for being herself? Only the divine Miss M. You sure know a lot about Bette Midler. She was also on The Nanny, Seinfeld, Murphy Brown, and she also had her own show in 2000 called Bette. That was not a hit. No, no it was not. But she was a great guest judge on Project Runway. Indeed she was. And she wrote a children's book in 1983 called The Saga of Baby Divine. She did? And she films a lot of her concerts for HBO, and those are huge successes. Yes, like her most recent Vegas show, The Showgirl Must Go On. That ran for years at Caesars Palace. We hope you have enjoyed Tess and Pierre's Guide to Bette Midler, Broadway and TV version. And kids, remember, before you watch any of the examples, watching too many might give you a case of divine madness.